Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. It is a bright, cold, snowy day in Denver, Colorado. The temperature is about 13 degrees and the streets are covered. And I love it because it means I can go skiing soon. My name is Doug Stryker. I'm the CEO of Savvy Training. As a reminder, this session is being recorded. With me today is my friend and colleague at Kraft Kennedy, Tracy Kraft. You want to give a short little intro? Say hey. Sure. Thanks, Doug. Um, I'm coming to you from New York, where we're headquartered. Um, for those of you who don't know Kraft Kennedy, we are a technology and integration firm. So we partner with Savvy on one of the hot topics that we're going to be talking about today, the successful DMS migration. And um, I'll let Doug dive into what we're going to be talking about today, but I'm excited that we're going to be talking about something we're hearing a lot out there for folks that need to make the move. They don't know where to get started and what the important sequence is. So with that, I'll let Doug take it away. Thank you, Tracy. So as we were coming up for a topic for the February session, one of the themes that seems to be coursing through a lot of people's minds is what to do um, if you are presented with the need or uh, desire to move from your current document management system to a new one or to upgrade the existing one you've got. Um, a lot of this honestly came through the acquisition of World Docs by Net Documents, and it presents a very great opportunity for those of us in the business to help our friends and clients not just make a decision on where to go, but really how to effect implementation, migration, and training. So both Kraft Kennedy and Savvy Training are rather app agnostic, meaning that whatever decision you make in terms of what DMS to go to is your decision that you own and it'll ultimately be the right one. We are here to make that move as seamless and easy and minimally invasive as possible. Um, by the last count, there were something like two or three or 5,000 firms on World Docs. And part of our job is to help people know that it's not the end of the world. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we're here to help you. So um, we created the seven step process on Savvy DMS, Savvy Craft Kennedy DMS, step by step. Um, and I'm going to fly through this relatively quickly. And if anybody has questions on the training side, give me a shout later. If people have questions on the implementation migration side, um, ask Tracy afterwards. But also, I want to make sure I've got on my notes, any questions you've got, any thoughts or comments, please drop them in the chat. Jan Lee is watching that and will um, help filter and hopefully answer questions that people have. OK to proceed? OK. Um, number one, step one, introduce savvy training early to your implementation partner in the process. So as you move into this new era of where you're going to go and what you're going to do um, in terms of a new or upgraded document management system, a lot of times training becomes the afterthought and people are like, oh, this is a ton of money and how are we going to do it? And then at the end of the row, they're like, oh, I guess we should train our people on how to use this new, this new, this new tool. So we respectfully ask that you introduce Savvy to your implementation partner very early on in the process because there's a whole series of things that happens many, many months in advance of actual go live. And the earlier that Savvy and Kraft Kennedy can get eyes on the project and start mapping and timelining, talking about the documents, the workflows, the migrations, naming conventions, um, the easier it's going to be for us as a training company to help create the outlines and the agendas and the schedules for the training that you're going to have leading up to the cutover and then eventually go live. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll just add, when we look at the ones where we've had these terrific partnership projects and the clients are happy and there was great user adoption, it's that thinking ahead and getting all of your your partners aligned so that there can be that custom experience and everything is specific to the project we're working on. So 
Um, I'll echo what Doug said, it's early planning and, and back planning, really looking at who you want to team up with. Step two, craft the training plan. So, you know, in our Savvy Smart Content Library, we have training content on Microsoft Office, various document management softwares, PDF softwares, signing softwares, along with all of our great public webinar presentations that we've recorded, this not being one of them, um, but maybe we'll put in the library. Um, but our training content is about 80% of the way there, right? So as you uh, move to a new DMS, we've got the base plates of the training plan, the outlines, we've got the essentials classes, the executive classes, advanced classes, scenario-based workshops, but at the end of the day, really at the beginning of the day, it is that last 20% of integrating our standard outlines into your law firm cultures and workflows, how your attorneys practice, how your practice groups operate, how your paralegals and support staff interact with each other and the attorneys, but also um, clients, co-counsel, opposing counsel. There's all sorts of bells and whistles in these tools these DMS tools are really important. And one of the things that we're really proud of is the creation of scenario-based training classes. So it's not that an attorney or a staff person lives solely in Microsoft Word or solely in the DMS or solely in the PDF software, but it's all these things together. So we like to look at those advanced training classes as um, scenario-based workshops where we pull all of these different apps together and help give you a workflow uh, specific to your firm on, okay, client intake comes in, and then what happens in the 30 steps that go along the way in the course of a client matter engagement all the way to completion. So that is a really important part of creating that training plan, is working with our clients and the law firms and Kraft Kennedy and others to have knowledge in terms of the firm culture and agendas, but also knowing what you've done and been through and how the old DMS worked or didn't work and what you want to do in the new one. Super important stuff. Tracy, I'm good? Okay. I think you got it. Yep, thanks, Doug. <laughs> All right, um, step three, power user training. So um, this is both power user training but also train the trainer training. And in this step or this phase, it's really looking at the people who are the pros in the firm and what tools they need in order to have better training to use the new DMS to the most of its opportunities. So that's why we've got the executive classes. We call them executive and not basic because no attorney wants to go to a basic class, but they'll probably show up to an hour long executive class and then the um, advanced and then the scenario based training. And it is that power user training and train the trainer training is really meant to illuminate and teach the expensive bells and whistles that are included in your new DMS. We've always said that one of the reasons we're in business is that people tend to use 10, 15, maybe 20% of whatever software they've got. And it's our job to help you use 50% or 60% or more of what the new tools can do and super cool stuff. And you guys all know it, um, you know, how to send secure links and audit threads and expiring links and, you know, collaborating internally, collaborating externally, all of that sort of high end features is, is where the real uh, rubber, rubber hits the road. Oh, I keep going the wrong way. Step four, the initial training. Um, so we've got a little bit of a, of a map that we use for training, and it starts with the trainer prep, and that's, you know, 8, 10, 15, 30 hours, whatever is appropriate, in order to get in with our trainers, understand your culture, your environment, what you've done in the past, what you want to do in the future. That helps us create those outlines and agendas for the training prior to the cutover. We'll do a, what we call currently a Champions of Change session. And honestly, that tends to happen on the Wednesday or Thursday before the cutover, that weekend cutover before real go live. And that way we've got an hour or so of training that's recorded that hopefully everybody's there live during the training, remote training or on site. 
Um, but really it is the tools, it's the training that people know what is this shiny bell and whistle, what's coming Monday morning at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. How do I log in? How do I find what I'm looking for? How do I file an email with an attachment? How do I create a new version of a document? All those sort of basic things. We want people to know that stuff going into the cutover during migration phase so that Monday morning or whatever day, they're able to log in and work. And then we have the training in the go live environment in real time with client data, real emails, real documents that we can work on in real time with all of your employees at the firm so they know what they're doing and then they can ask really focused detailed questions on whatever i used to do it this way now i gotta do it that way help me make it all work step five targeted training so in those scenario-based workshops you know we really again dive into the dirty details of how attorneys and staff use the DMS and all these other tools that they're using. One of the most interesting things I think we've found is during discovery phase with implementation partners and Kraft Kennedy will go in and be like, where, where's all your data live currently? And it's surprising the number of places where documents actually live. And most of the times, unfortunately, it's not where you want it to live. So we're paying a ton of money for this very high-end advanced cutting edge document management system tool and if people keep putting stuff in their Gmail or their desktop or their C drive or the dozen of other places where they might hide things. And that's not really the purpose of a document management system. We want all of it inside. And so knowing where people keep their documents and ultimately why they're doing it helps us create culture change so that everything starts living in the document system, document management system, and then again, we pull in external apps and, you know, the DMSs have different plugins for different apps. And if you've got DocuSign or HelloSign, you know, and whatever the attorneys use or Adobe Sign, you know, how do all that whole workflow work together? So that all goes into the outlines and agendas for the more advanced training classes. Step six, new hire training. We get asked this a lot and it's really a core piece of our engagement with clients is you've got sort of a twofold thing going on where you need to move to a new document management system or upgrade and you have to teach everybody in the firm all right here's the new tool here's how it you here's how it's used a lot of times savvy training is only on the ground for 5 10 15 days and so the question comes up what do we do 6 months from now how do we train our new hires so a lot of what we'll do um, is keep those agendas and outlines. And if a client decides to go into the Savvy Academy learning management system, we help build new hire training, uh, new hire training and learning paths within the LMS. So new hire onboarding six months from now or whenever it is becomes documented and it becomes a process so that it becomes less of a less of an art and more of a science in terms of new hire training. And then we've got one-stop shopping for all things new hire training within that learning path. And it can include human resources stuff as well. But it's, you know, here's the firm, here's the players, here's how, you know, client matters are set up, here's the intake process, here's, you know, maybe practice group specific processes, depending on if the new hire is real estate or litigation or commercial or whatever. So we can carve out these new hire learning paths and have a core part of it that includes document management system training, but also bring in all the other pieces that you need when you onboard new people. And then of course, step seven, well, 14 minutes in, I'm already at the end of it. Um, you know, from where I sit and the longevity that Savvy Training and Kraft Kennedy want with clients is that um, regular checkups and reinforcement training so aside from the learning management system where we can create videos and put cool stuff and here's the new toys we've got, um, having us come back every three or six months and do you know, live training remote or on site, I think really helps keep things and the momentum going. One of the core aspects of that is you know, in the old days, law firms followed, uh, by and large, followed the Microsoft flow of upgrades. And so firms would move, to a new Microsoft Office 
uh, iteration every three or five years. And so we would come in and do training every three or five years. But now with Office 365 in the cloud and the document management systems in the cloud, all of these companies are really tech companies. And I used to, well, when I'd go on the road and speak, I would say, in the old days, I would say that law firms, by and large, are five to seven years behind the rest of the business world. And that is no longer true. We've got really high-end, amazing document management system vendors who are creating really amazing stuff, and they do it in a way that makes it really hard for trainers because there are upgrades every quarter. Some are large upgrades, some are smaller upgrades, the user interface changes, the buttons move around, people freak out, I can't find it, it's a different color, what do I do? Um, and so having those regular checkups and reinforcement training in this new cadence of cloud-hosted document management system, Microsoft Office, PDF vendors, our ability to come back in and teach and educate across the firm has become really important in a cadence that is not every three or five years anymore. It's like every three to five months. And so that's a big part of why the Savvy LMS is important. And then we can come back in for more in-depth training if and when those cases arise. Tracy, how'd I do? I mean, that was a, a speedy trip through the, the main steps everyone needs to have on hand and I like that you'll be able to consolidate these. We'll pass these out to everybody who attended today. Um, I think it's great and, and one of the things we're seeing and encouraging is that people do that back planning. So if it's on your you know, 12 to 18 month roadmap, you start now and you just start putting the sequence and the pieces in place so that it should be pretty smooth and you end up with a, a, a great 2023, 20, 2024. Um, there's, uh, yeah, so there's, there's, I think there's a couple aspects, right, to sort of talk about the, the, uh, the elephant in the room. That's always the, the bad word. So how do you eat an elephant? Well, one piece at a time. Um, you know, there's, a, there's really, there's the big three players, um, and now there's really the big two, right? There's World Docs, Net Documents, I manage. There's Epona. Uh, there's Microsoft. Um, you know, there's SharePoint. I think people have all sorts of choices of where they can go. And what I said earlier is that ultimately whatever decision you make will be the right one. Tracy's job and my job is to help make that process easy and streamlined and it takes time, right? All these tech companies that happen to have document management systems um, have staffing, have schedules, have rollouts of their own. And so there's a timing element. So what Tracy said, the 12 to 18 month roadmap really is accurate because we all need to take your law firm and whatever you've got currently and agree on the flow, the process, the timeline. And it's funny how time starts to speed up the closer you get to go live. But if we do a lot of planning ahead of time, a lot of conversations and communication, that process becomes really smooth and really easy. Um, there's a lot of questions that arise about you know, how do my documents and storage space and what do I do with this? And that's what Crap Kennedy's really excels at. And actually we're in the middle of a project right now um, that's going great. And, and one of the collabor collaborative pieces that I find really amazing is through really good and timely communication between the law firm and its stakeholders. Crap Kennedy is the implementation partner, Savvy Training is the training partner and any other sort of players who might need to be involved helps us create the roadmap so that you know what's coming long before it's about to happen. And if and when red flags come up or issues arise, we can help mitigate those well ahead of them becoming actual problems. Um, and not to say that we're gonna have those problems, but we've all been through um, a lot of this and planning and execution really helps avoid problematic situations. And that's the purpose of this short little webinar is to help hopefully put your minds at ease that this is relatively easy. Uh, we've done it a thousand times or more and we look forward to the opportunity to, um, to hopefully do this with you if you're interested. Oh, and yeah. let's see, there's one more, let me pull this up. Um, 
Why well, you pull that up, Doug, I just want to echo what you just said because that's actually relevant for anybody making this like this journey is that we have done it thousands of times and we've done it with firms that have all different custom settings and everything else. Um, and I think being that partner, that teammate that goes on the journey with the firm going their first time has been, I don't know, our, our team loves it because we can help you through to the next stage and it ends up, people are thrilled with their outcomes, right? Like the, the user adoption is one of the major goals of a lot of firms that go through this process. And when everybody's up and running and loving the new document management system, it's, it's exciting. Um, sorry, Doug, where were you going next? I was just going to uh, what's going to happen next. So oh. that's next. Um, so you've got a choice to make on your new document management system, whether it's a migration or an upgrade, and you got to deal with all of that. In the middle of the rest of the world, it's always happening and a thousand things flying at you all at the same time. So as Tracy and, and me and the teams were talking about what to do for our next cadence for education and information, we want to give you a voice and a vote and help us decide which of these nine things we should do Even first, more. second, third, what? There may be more on the next page. I got a little carried away. Oh, um, all right, there's another page. <laughs> so yeah. this, this is a link that'll go out with the, uh, the recording of this. Um, but there are so many things besides DMS that are happening in the world that we think our audience and you might be inquisitive about and that's why we have jobs to help talk about these things um you know the security posture critical chat gpt is all the rage right now and what is it how's it working why is it working whatever blockchain you know what does it all do and why does it affect me and our lawyers can have the jobs and have jobs and all that stuff you know citrix citrix uh, azure files security overview dlp windows 11 um into an autopilot. I don't know what M E M E C M. Oh, -E -M. The it was just the new phrase for S C C M. But that I actually was just talking to my folks this morning. That apparently everyone's challenged right now. So we would love to talk about it. Um, Intune is another hot topic, right? Um, folks going to Windows 11, Microsoft Teams. We're never done talking about. So we put all these into this survey there's on the next page the option to throw in a topic you want to know about um, we'll keep our sessions under 30 minutes so it's just a quick bite of information and um, yeah we want it to be crowdsourced so let us know what's most interesting to you you'll receive the link after this session um, but then yeah we'll curate the content to what you want to know about Jenna Lee, were there any questions we need uh, addressing or should we fly? I don't see any questions. You guys covered a lot. All right, well, we must have done a really great job or everyone's just terrified. Um, either way, when you do have questions, ping me and Tracy and we will answer them to the best of our and our team's abilities. Um, hopefully you found this rewarding and engaging and that there is a path forward and it's not all that hard. We just got to all work together to have a uh, have a great outcome. So with that, we're at uh, yeah, 53. You know what, guys? I was Ooh. looking on the wrong screen. The wrong screen. There are two questions from okay. Meredith. Can you talk a little bit about how you price out your services savvy if you are going along for the 18 month ride? And she <laughs> asked again because I was Meredith. I apologize. I was looking at the wrong place. So go for it, Doug uh yeah I, I mean you know in its core we sort of have i guess three different options and we can talk about it but the way that the basic structure works is that we you know savvy training gets engaged early on and we create a customized statement of work for you and that statement of work outlines the 12 to 18 month ride as it were um, but really, it includes, you know, the numbers, the, the lines include, you know, trainer prep time, X amount of hours, um, uh, train the trainer training, and pilot group training, X number of hours. Those are typically done in, in two-hour sessions, and it could be 
two sessions, it could be eight sessions. It just depends on the size of the firm and the amount of the lift that we're gonna do. Um, and then there's the champion, Champions of Change session, and that's an hour. And then there's the training, and the training is uh, you know X number of days, and it really depends on the size of the firm and the amount of the lift. But you know, by and large, we've got the executive classes at an hour, the um, the uh, advanced classes at an hour fifteen, and the scenario-based workshops at ninety minutes. And so we can do you know three or four of those a day with uh, remote floor support embedded, and then we've got X number of days of training, sort of depending on how many people you know get in each class. Um, you know, typically I'll sort of say, you know, a 50-person firm takes five days of training, a hundred-person firm takes 10 days of training, and that's if we use one trainer. You know, things change, and maybe we use two trainers. Maybe we do. Maybe you've got 18 offices, um, and you want to do one office per week. And so we just sort of customize the whole pricing and, and the whole plan, you know, along with the shape of the culture and the amount of the lift. And then there's, you know, a half day of training, 30 days or so after the live training. And it could be a half day, it could be a full day, it could be another week of training. It just depends. And then there's the whole concept of the Savvy Smart Content Library that is included in the Savvy Academy Learning Management System. And that's priced by the seat. So contact me for further details on that. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, there's, I mean, it can range from a little bit to a lot. So I don't know if that's a great answer, but um, I don't know. I think I've, I've said in the past that training, training should be, and someone's going to probably kill me if I say this, but I'll do it anyways. Um, whatever investment you're making in your annual cost of the document management system, training should be around 20-ish percent of that. So I'll let you guys do the math, but um, that seems to be a good place to start. So hopefully I answered that question in as uh, delicate manner as I could. Anything That's else? Great. All right, well, thanks everybody. Stay tuned. You'll get a, uh, an email later uh, today or tomorrow with the recording um, with this link to our um, next sessions. And Tracy, thank you for being here. Everybody who's on this webinar, thank you for being here. I hope that you stay warm and safe and healthy and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Al.